Dear students, today we will discuss about children protection and electronic theft under the uh, heading of computer science impact of our life. So we have discussed little bit about children protection or kids protection online. So there are many many problems that a kid can have when going online. So in today's module we will be going into very much details that what kind of problems can occur and to what extent we need to guide the kids while using online platforms. So for example, broadly speaking, there could be content risk, there could be contact risk, there could be online marketing, overspending, electronic theft, information privacy and information security. And in all of these types of risk, there are many, many different uh, sub areas. So let's try to explore each of these one by one. So if we talk about content risk, this means that there could be an illegal content which is available to the kids. So if your kid see that illegal uh, content available anywhere, so this means that your kid might be uh, impressed of those uh, content or of course it would be harmful for that person or that kid and there could be some harmful content uh, as well available online that can harm the personality of your children and there could be some harmful advice so for example if your kid is trying to learn something new online and some person is explaining something which is actually the harmful advice for the kid. So this means that your kid is carrying that advice in rest of his or her life. Then there could be some contact risk. So whatever is in, in your contact. So for example, on social media, uh, kids might form their profile and they can have multiple contacts which are available. So what they can do with the kid? They can harass that kid. So online harassment is one of the challenge nowadays, especially for the kids. So they can influence that kid to make him or her unpleasant for certain things. And then uh, the related concept to the harassment is cyberbullying that they can influence that kid to do something very wrong so you might have seen some of the games which were the challenges in the world and they were saying that if you can do this 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 means that you you are really a man so doing all of those challenges some of the kids have uh, gone with with their lives so they were dead because those challenges involved very difficult task which those kids were trying to do so such kind of influence can be made in cyberbullying then there could be some illegal interactions with the persons which you might not feel comfortable if you are a parent and then there are problematic content that can be shared by someone and if that kid is with you then you might not feel comfortable to share that content with your kid but as the kid is um, watching something online in the form of digital form so this means that that kid can have some problematic content sharing and that can see that problematic content then there is online marketing inappropriate or unsuitable products which are illegal and age restricted so you know that there are certain products which cannot be shown to the kids uh, uh, who are below certain age limit so as the kid is viewing online so those kind of advertisements can also be thrown to that kid. Then there could be electronic theft in the form of identity theft, online fraud, online scams. So 
اینی ون از ٹرائنگ ٹو میک منی انلیگلی یوزنگ کیڈس فار ایگزامپل دے آر سینگ ڈیٹ یو ہیو ون فائیو ملین یوروز اینڈ دا پروسیس ٹو گیٹ دوز فائیو ملین یورو از ویری اسٹیٹ فارورڈ دے گیو دیئر اکاؤنٹ ڈیٹ پلیز سبمٹ فائیو تھاؤزینڈ روپیز ان ٹو دس اکاؤنٹ and instantly you will see that your account or you will receive 5 million euros and the kid might not have very strong nerves and he or she might be slipped over on the on this uh, offer and he or she can submit um, those required money from their pocket so such kind of things might also happen then there is a information privacy that personal data can be collected from the children and we have discussed that there are certain acts which protect uh, children from getting unnecessary or illegal information from the children and then there is another very important area of information security that there could be some malicious code uh, some Uh, commercial spyware which is running on the computer which kid is using and you as a parent might understand that this is a malicious software however your kid might not notice that there is something wrong happening on the computer so how to protect your children your kids from this so we should use web filtering mechanism content filtering mechanism softwares firewalls which will protect your kids from watching or going to illegal content on the internet and then there are different parental control softwares which are available and you can configure for your kids that your kid can only see this 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 information and then enable safety features and one of the most important thing is that you should guide your kids you should guide your kids for all of the issues which we have discussed in the smart yule and you should make aware them against all of these problems and you should tell them that if you see such kind of thing then how they should behave So let's summarize today's module. We have learned about child protection and electronic theft, and we have seen many, many different kind of risks which are available for the kids. And we have seen that what preemptive measures parents can take to overcome these risks.